Okay, this is, uh, I don't know, version two, maybe version three of luggage on the Touareg. Um, been testing out a lot of stuff here. So basically, I'm pretty happy with this right now, except for some of the weight issues. Um, AXP skid plate, I don't think that was on my last video. Crash bars, um, starting from the front. Uh, this wonderful tool bag. I got my tools down to about two pounds, 2.1 pounds. Um, they're inside, a, I think it's called Dynama bag. It's incredibly light. And then that bag is inside this uh, microfiber bag, so it doesn't scratch the windshield. And you kind of have to work it in the windshield, but it stays in there, no problem. Um, and uh, that works out well. We have that horn from Amazon down there. It's really loud. Um, so, let's see. Highway dirt bike hand guards. Probably gonna switch these. And uh, they're great, but they are heavy. I'm really trying to lose as much weight as possible. Um, had this wonderful tank bag made. It's made out of something called Ultra 200. The whole tank bag is four liter tank bag with the straps weighs 150 grams. It's pretty incredible. And that has a uh, two liter water bag, but I can only fit 1.8 liters in there. But it has a USB in and it has the insulated hose and everything, so it's a nice setup. Um, the psych tick <laughs> uh, tire pressure gauge, which seems to be about three pounds off, but it does work. You just have to add three pounds to it. Um, and uh, I think in the last video I mentioned adding these little ring things in here um, whenever possible. Oh, I did get the, uh, I think it's GP Mucci um, shifter. It is definitely tucked in more than the normal shifter. And I did do the pivot peg um, uh, <coughs> modification where you slide the bolts through it. So that's covered. Um, all right, so luggage. Uh, tuck these straps in. I gotta get some old inner tube to put around those so they can hold the excess straps in. Um, those straps, by the way, are half the weight of foil straps, unfortunately. They're made in China. Um, most of this other stuff back here isn't, actually. These, these uh, seal line 20 liter bags are not made in the uh, USA. Um, so there's four of them um, held on by these two straps. And um, I, I think what I want to do, I'm going to keep these because these are pretty durable, but I'm going to switch out these upper bags. There's bags now being made of that same stuff, the Ultra 200 that are is about, I think, a, well, I actually have a 50 liter bag and it's 200 grams, but it's too big. I think I want a 30 or 40 to go back here and get rid of these two. These are each a pound each. So I'll go from two pounds to probably half a pound back here. Um, I am trying to do ultralight with this setup. I mean, obviously the bike is not ultralight. Um, I've gotten all my gear down to 29.4 pounds. I cannot get to 25, so I'm officially I don't get the gold star. Um, <clears throat> but the other thing on a uh, Touareg, there's a single bolt hole back here. I put in one of those uh, stainless steel loops and I have two um, rock straps coming off of it. <clears throat> um, and I'll just show you basically, if I undo these, um, there you can see, uh, Use a carabiner and it goes to two rock straps with that one mount point. And then here, um, that is that's from Moscow Moto. It's a single bolt strap loop thing with a single bolt. Works pretty well. Um, so that's there. And then these straps go through there. And then the straps go through um, the bar underneath the seat, which really is a great, uh, it's a great thing. Very useful. And 
So the second strap goes through that bar and also one of these uh, um, rock straps. So that's basically it, just two straps for each side. Um, and you always want to offset, have your left side uh, have more weight because you're offsetting the weight of the exhaust system too, which is lightened on this bike. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Anything else? No, that pretty much covers it.